What's up guys, today I will show you how to make chill future bounce and as an example I will use my song outside. Most of my songs I start with making chords. In this melody, I let there some space for counter melodies. For lead sound, I have one main sound and several layers. It's good when the layer sounds different because it helps make sound more unique. Last layer is there for the high frequencies to make the frequency spectrum of lead fuller. My CPU isn't very good, so I decided to bounce the lead. So move on FX. I use EQ2 for the low cut. You free by fuck filters for the boosting the highs to sides. For compressing, I use C2, a little bit of distortion, Saturn for saturation. There is another low cap because Saturn costs some um, low end. So for reverb, I used fruity reverb. I also use Kickstart, which is a great sidechaining plugin for making house music. So for drop chords, I used the same chords like in the beginning. I changed the rhythm a little bit. So for the chords, I use these effects. The first, the EQ, cutting the lows and some adjusting. The Q3 for making the mids more present at the sides. The C2 for compressing as always Saturn for saturation <laughs> so you are used the fruity filter and I I automated the cut knob so it makes that filter effect and then I use the fruity reverbs for reverb And the final one is kickstart for sidechaining. For future bounds is typical that the bass follows the melody rhythm. The notes of the bass are mostly root notes of the chords. To make it more interesting and more bouncy, I put some notes one octave higher. Let this note I put just five tones higher. This is my first layer. Mm -hmm. 
and the second layer is playing basically the same notes but the last three notes I put one octave higher to make it more interesting. This is my sub bass and sub bass is a bit about the like the jumps of the notes. And this is the only jump. And it's also the fifth note of C sharp major, which is A, like in previous bass layers. It's one octave lower than it was before. I use this free plugin for making the sub bass. bass effects so EQ is doing some adjustments and also deleting the sub because I wanted to have sub mixer channel so I can make the sidechain different than the bass sidechain so compressor Fa filter subtour to make it warmer. And yeah, kickstart. Basic house rhythm. Some EQ. Deleting harsh frequencies. Uh, reverb. And these small gigs to make the rhythm more interesting. Yeah, it's this weird wobble sound. And I'd place it in the free space in melody. And I also change the note of the wobble for a making it in the same scale as uh, my song. Here's this one shot, some EQ. And I use for reverb Fruity Convolver. And I will put in description tutorial for Fruity Convolver. Because with it you can basically copy any version for any plugin into a fruity plugin, so it's great. Delete and low end. I make this bell dynamic another C2 compressor Saturn for make it warmer and two reverbs and one reverb is to the middle and one reverb is to the side very gentle looking start Basic chord rhythm. Yeah, the same melody but different sound. This is how I automate the DQ. Effects are sent so we can move on the rap.
I hope you enjoy and learn something new. And if you like it, you can leave a like. And if you are curious for more videos like this, you can subscribe.